Hey gang, we have a preview review redeeming redemption. I can English. We have a preview review redemption, and I'm going to take a look at the card Startle from the upcoming Midnight in Innistrad or whatever it's called. Let's hop over to the left monitor and take a look. <clears throat> Startle. I've talked about single word card names. Uh, in some of my design chat previously. I've said uh, keep an eye out for single word card names. They are a scarce and known resource to R&D. There's a list of single word, uh, single words that have not been used as card names before and could be. <clears throat> and it's considered an important resource because just like any place with words on a card, the fewer letters, the fewer words, the easier it is for your players to read and grok and understand. And I've pointed out that uh, it is usually the case that when you see a single word card, <clears throat> that it is a card that would be able to be reprinted in a core set. And in this case, that's not the case because we've got this, uh, we've got this ability decayed. Uh, now, decayed is successfully explained on the card itself, but generally you don't bring in a named mechanic uh, like decay or decayed unless you're doing it multiple times in the format. So <clears throat> uh, I don't see this as a strong core set reprint potential despite the single word card name. Uh, but it could also just be that like startle is is kind of a spooky, It's it feels like a great Innistrad card, right? Now, I'm, I'm a little surprised they didn't find a way to make it uh, corset reprintable, a little bit more corset reprintable, but who knows, maybe they'll consider this to be reprintable? I don't know. Uh, as for what the card does, one in a blue for an instant. Target creature gets minus two, uh, minus zero until end of turn. Create a zombie with decay. Decayed, which means it can't block and when it attacks, sacrifice it. So you've got this thing that's just sitting there to make one attack. Can't figure out how valuable that is. If it could block, it would be great. And if it, but since it can only attack and attack once, I'm not sure of exactly what the utility is. It doesn't seem like it has a ton of, uh, like, cause I just don't think of blue as aggro. Like if this were a red card, I know it doesn't make sense uh, in terms of what it does, but just to say if it were an aggre a more aggressive color, then getting that extra bear to attack with could could be nice. So really what I'm thinking it's about is um, making other uses of the token besides attacking, uh, or um, uh, maybe if you have instant speed sacrifice, you can set your stops. I mean, so this is something to remember about this card. Let's say you you have something you want to do. Like let's say there's a, a you know the the if the, it was sacrifice this creature and draw two cards, right? And if the board is clear, you can set your stops such that you can attack with your zombie, deal the two points of damage, and then actually even when it triggers sacrifice it at the end of combat. When sacrifice at end of combat goes on the stack, you can at instant speed sacrifice it for something else instead. So, like, we've not seen minus two, minus zero draw a card for two mana in blue be all that super playable. It's not, I mean, as long as there's a creature out, it can cycle for two. So the floor on this card is pretty darn low. Cycle for two and get a one shot two, two. Like, I think the floor is just so solid on this card that we're going to find ourselves running it. I don't know how good it's going to be yet, though, until I understand... Uh, what I'm doing with zombie tokens besides attacking with them. And, uh, uh, but we'll see how it slots in. Uh, the, these types of effects have tended to underperform, although minus two is a bit of a magic number for that. You know, uh, when it's minus one, that barely does anything. Um, well, if it's not really a two, two. Obviously, if it just created a black zombie creature token, this would be one of the better blue commons we've ever seen. Uh, 
where you could be like, all right, I'm going to minus two your thing. I'm going to create a zombie token that's going to block it and eat it, and I get an extra card. You'd start to be looking at like a three for one for two mana. So uh, it's not that. But I, but I do think it's it's in that in the C range and looks like it potentially even has more to do if zombies sacrificing and death matter. Uh, so yeah, two two flash draw card would be busto on its own for a blue common, and then minus two would just be gravy, right? So no, it's not that. Uh, the art is creepy. This. Uh, Boy, fishing in Innistrad just seems like not what you want to be doing with your life there. Um, you're either getting random zombie parts out of the water, or something in the water is just going to kill you. So don't don't fish in Innistrad. Find something else to do there. Um, I think this is going to be a middle of the pack pick, though, or it's going to go around late. Like if if you're if you've carved out a blue lane and it's reasonably open, I expect you'll be wheeling startles and playing as many as you want. Uh, so, uh, is that a zombie? It could be a vampire back there. Let's zoom in on that art. I don't know what creepazoid is back there exactly. I'm going to say C until I understand more of the synergy that this card offers, but super solid and we're going to play it, I bet. So uh, how good depends on the synergies. Yeah, that's probably right, right? Although uh, I thought this was the zombie because it's decayed, get it? And what else have I got to say about this card? Not much. Interesting little sub ability here. I'm sure they play into that with a bunch of other cards, though. That's typical, right? All right. Startle. Will it be in a core set near you? I don't know. But one word, one word cards are a rarity. All right. Go pre-order your startles from Card Kingdom. Thanks for watching.